Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. As Kaylin would say. Bless him, Lord. Ah, uh, <laughs> praise the Lord. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Man, I pray that everybody this morning remember uh, the Lord's Prayer. Say the Lord's Prayer every morning before you leave. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as you come into consciousness, mm -hmm. say the Lord's Prayer because that prayer will cover cover every area that you need cover. That's key. Amen. So, uh, we just driving with our DNC seat. Sunny out here in uh, Dallas today. Yay! Uh, but it's yeah. a little bit cool. It's a little chilly. Yeah. It's a little chilly this morning. It's gonna get hot. We're in Texas. It's funny. It's funny. I was just talking to my wife it's about. Funny. Yeah. It's funny. I was just talking to. Her. I just woke up. Yeah. Get twisted. <laughs> <laughs> Still got to get the mouth moving. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, they out early this morning. Yeah, the boys ain't got nothing, they ain't got nothing else to do. Uh, uh, oh, he parked in the wrong spot, that's yeah. what it is. He must have been late for work. Yeah, I don't like that ticket. And it's my a man, handicap stick. <laughs> my man just got a ticket. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Praying that God show favor in his life <laughs> before the judge. <laughs> uh, but I was just uh, talking to my wife this morning about, uh, we were just praying. I was asking the Lord to to uh, help against the enemy of my mind. Mm -hmm. You know, the enemy of your mind just bombards your mind with all types of thoughts and worries. And, yeah. And uh, no, different, yeah, different situations. Always putting something, trying to put, always putting some type of salt in the game. So, you know, your, your bills, your wife, uh, your kids some type of worry yeah. or distraction your ministry if you have yeah. a ministry yeah 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 he's always yeah and yeah yeah he's always trying to bring up something negative that can affect see your mindset has has to do a lot with your uh communication with the lord if your mind is always always on the Lord, the look then it's like there's a direct line, right? But when it's almost like when the enemy throws in that salt, it's almost like uh, you get static on the line. You ever know sometimes you be on the phone and it just it, some some calls are staticky, other calls are clear. That's that's how it be sometimes because you're trying to focus on the Lord, but the enemy has got you worried about your rent, you know. Or how your daughter's doing in school or whatever. But that's what that scripture uh, that the Lord will keep you in perfect peace if you keep his mind stayed on if you keep your mind stayed on him. That's where that scripture comes to play. Because that is so true. So true. He will keep you in perfect peace. Although everything is still there, the problems don't leave. They're still yeah. there. Yeah. But you're not worried about it. That's you're why you're not worried about it. That's funny, that's why Jesus went to sleep in the boat. Storm was going on, baby. Come on now. I said, Lord, what was you thinking? He said, I wasn't. <laughs> I thought he was going to be taken care of. Yo, Lord, what was you thinking? I wasn't thinking nothing, nothing. Just, in fact, I'm going to take a nap. Water coming in. Come on now. Yeah, he got frustrated when they woke him up. Yeah, like, what you waking up for? I was sleeping good. You take care of this. Come on now. He's like, Lord, let me go up here and take care of this. I can get some rest. Oh, Peace man. be still. Yeah. So it's always good to have that uh, that oneness with the Lord in your mind, your, your body, your but spirit. You, but you know what? You can't keep your mind stayed on Him if you don't have Him in your mind. Oh, and what, am I, what I mean by that is you got to have the Word in there. Yeah. If, if there's nothing to keep your mind on. Jesus said, keep your mind stayed on me. Mm. Well, if I don't know you, what wow. can I keep my mind yeah. on? Oh, you, you know, know, it's funny. Because the word, the more you read the word of God, the more you think on the Lord. Yeah. And it's like, sometimes I find myself at work and I just find myself kind of zoned out. Just, I, I can't wait for, for my next break so that I can get in that word and keep reading the story. Uh, you know, something going on in the word, whatever. But if you keep that on your mind, that's like a great way of staying, like what, what uh, CC was just saying. That's a great way to stay on 
the path to stay yeah. on the course to yeah. be able to keep that that one mindset and not allow distractions to dictate your feelings your emotions mm-hmm. your you know Thoughts. yeah I was just talking to one of my uh, one of my sons and we were talking about uh, not allowing his emotions to rule his day. Yeah. I said they're just tricks of the enemy. If you and but I, that also lets me know that he hasn't been in his word because the word teaches us about that behavior, right. about how to recognize the enemy. The word teaches us that. Right. How to stop it before it rolls into something yeah. else. That's why you know with the soldiers, with the soldiers of Christ. We always do Marco Polo so we can see each other and hear each other. We want to hear it. We want to. Now, not just on Sunday. We want to hear and see you, uh, see your face every day. Yeah. Because if the word is in you, we're going to be able to hear that word come out of you. And not just that. Being on Marco Polo is uh, encouragement. Yeah. Jesus always says, yeah. exhort your brother. Yeah. Exhortation. Build your brother up. Yeah. So when your brother is on Marco Polo, talking about his day and the things that he's going through. Yeah, we definitely need some encouragement. Yeah, then that'll help you be like, oh man, this is what he did to get through it. This is what I can do to get through it. And so that's what Marco Polo is good for that. Yeah. Or you could be telling your testimony, you'll say something that touched somebody and you have no idea. Yeah, exactly. Let See, uh, letting them know about your trials and your tribulations to help them because the enemy is also attacking their mind as well. Yeah. So or even if they just have a scripture, you know, scripture of the day. Yeah. You never know. That scripture could be helping someone. Yeah. I'm driving too. I'm I'm not just driving for us. I'm driving for them too. <laughs> you know, Amen. People, don't you hate it when people get in the fast lane and go slow <laughs> and dare you to try? They they gonna go move. They believe, gonna stay right there. Believe me, your your faith <laughs> is definitely tested. Then, uh, hey, we, you know what we've noticed here in Dallas? There are more people in the fast lane than there are the slow lane. <laughs> so we start using the slow lane because the fast lane is yeah. always blocked up. It's really true. Forty yeah. miles an hour so in the fast they, lane. So now they're blaming us Texans, I'm like we can't drive. <laughs> no, it's all you out of Texas, all you out of staters. <laughs> we got moved into Texas. No, not to be in that lane. Get out the fast lane. Hey, we are. <laughs> hey, just on a, a funny note. Uh, the Lord just put it on my heart. Driving with Al and Cece. You know, we want to be able to give you, uh, you know, just an everyday life version mm-hmm. uh, of, you know, what it means to be a follower of Christ. A, yeah, uh, and your commute to work or wherever you're doing, that's a perfect time to get with the Lord. Yeah. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Yes, please talk to the Lord. You know, so... Uh, so I, I challenge you today to uh, take out time during your breaks and read the word. Uh, shouts out to all the soldiers of Christ out there. Bless y'all soldiers. True soldiers. Y'all. Yeah. And uh, there's another thing, too, right before I let you go. You know, what does it mean to truly serve the Lord? Mm-hmm. If you look at... Uh, some of the disciples if you really evaluate their steps you'll you'll come to realize that what you're what what you're going through or what you're doing is not what they did <laughs> you gotta realize yourself you gotta ask yourself am i doing what the pharisees and the scribes did mm-hmm. or am i doing what jesus and his disciples did mm-hmm. ask yourself that yep Amen. That's what life is, a self-examination. Yeah, yeah. Not an examination of others, yeah. but a self-examination. If you examine yourself, you won't be so quick to see the sin in others. Amen. So we got 20 seconds, baby. Uh, until next time, this is uh, Al, D, and CC. This is, can I say my own name? Say your name. This is CC. Say your name, sister. <laughs> say, say your name. Say your name. Say your name. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <man. laughs> I